morning hello and welcome to my daily vlog life on our beef and arable farm here in south yorkshire um it's looking a little bit overcast and cloudy isn't it but i'm gonna cross his fingers and hope it stays dry because we do need to just get this land dry so we can plant some spring barley and then think about doing the maize as well but anyway, i think i'm I like a broken record here aren't i with um with the weather but um it, it is bad for farmers it for farmers it's really been a very bad year um a lot of crops aren't in the ground the ones that are aren't looking great um so yeah harvest could be interesting finding straw could be interesting um but let's focus on today eh we're going to be going off in the daff a little bit later and um, we've got some cattle to feed up and bed around so i'm going to start with that now right so first things first we better jump on this aren't we put some straw out to these cattle that we got around the farm so we're just putting the straw out where we need it in the pen every corner gets a bit chucked in little and often dad's feeding round on the TM I think we're going to go and put some straw in down here now we'll be on the gates for us to let me in so in the outside yard here Ben and Noah mucked it out yesterday because it was getting a bit wet and they bedded it down really well I'm just going to give them a bit more on top just to keep them clean as you can see the cows are not um, not particularly disturbed by the straw blow cutting the straw part here some of them bounce around some of them just ain't bothered we get some of the new bed we keep them clean healthy got somewhere dry to lay it what they want at the all inclusive oh we got the bin men here business these guys are all happy eating away my dad was washing the uh, sangyong yesterday can you tell <laughs> I think you missed a bit no one's just filling the mixer now keeping him busy Oh, some of these guys we're going to need to vaccinate at some point. We've got a few to get out to go. Right, so we'll get the uh, lottery backed into position and take it from there. Right, I'll get off with these and um, next time you see me, I'll probably be back in the yard. Let's just see something exceptionally interesting on the way. I'm driving down the road and somebody just flags me up. <laughs> Pull it here, pull it here. <laughs> so we got yeah. Stuart on from, from, all the way from France. South of France. So yeah. you're just visiting at the minute. Mm, yeah, yeah. I got to live around here. Well, that's lucky then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen it all now, I've seen it all. <laughs> that's brilliant. Right, does anybody know where we are now? This farm here is in the middle of a motorway. Bang bang in the middle, and people think it's because you know it won't give his land up and things like that. It's not. It's just the topography of the road. If you look to the right hand side, the other side of the uh, the M62 is just so much lower than the side that we're on now. So it would cost a fortune to like bring the two um, east and west sort of together. So they just went round the farm because it, it worked out cheaper. Right, who can name? the TV show that was filmed in this village that I'm in now. So that's getting even more cryptic, isn't it? Um, if you've got to know the place, then you got to know the show. But I'm pretty sure if you know the place... Turn right. You'll know it. 
just giving you a bit more of a look around in case anybody's not sure. So back in the yard, looks like Noah's having a bale explosion there. Uh oh. By all accounts, my dad's gone ploughing, so uh, that'll be another field done. That one we might be able to get drilled, sort of, um, well, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I don't think he'll be wanting me to go in there today. I think we'll just need a little bit of drying in places. At least we've got something done. So now we are vaccinating these new guys. Came the other day. So they'll automatically walk in. I didn't trap his head right. Come on, Bobby. Come on. Sit. Squeeze it so it doesn't throw itself about. And then we'll worm fluke it, record its data. So Ben uses this gun to put fluke in its mouth. Then we're clipping its back so it keeps it nice and cool. And then Ben's putting the weight into that gun and then that automatically worms it to the right dosage. Isn't it, fella? Okay? So we've got all these babies done now. Come on, Mum. That's kept us busy. We've still got some more to do though. So more fellas done. Recorded. We'll get them back in their pen. So then when we've got everything done, we can treat treat the whole lot of animals. Then we know if we get the cattle out again, um, if they're within the withdrawal period it comes up on there and says stop like do not put this into the food chain the awful like farm assurance and making sure that we're producing the right quality and safe food and this you know you don't need a computer program to do that but this really really does help us in our business to, um, to yeah, comply with everything really right we're on with getting fed up now and i just thought i would highlight that next week is British Beef Week. Um, and I'm going with the AHDB and Charlotte Ashley and James Herrick and Rebecca Wilson down to Essex next, well, this time next week actually, to um, go around the farm, look at how beef's produced, but what they're doing, the AHDB, are showing chefs and for the food service industry around this farm and then having a butchery demonstration and sort of selling the benefits I suppose of British beef and um, keeping it yeah keeping it everything local and British and yeah supporting our industry so yeah when they asked me if I'd come down and do a live stream with them I was like yeah no problem um, and we get to see some chefs and meet them and talk to them and sort of find out what they want from us as beef farmers like what carcass confirmation they're looking for like the amount of fatness things like that um so i think it'll be interesting it'll be nice to get down there it'll be nice to meet up with those guys again um yeah that have sort of become friends now and um yeah i do yeah it should be a good do so tune into that that's next wednesday evening i think it's half past six there's a live stream on we're gonna be doing a cookery demonstration i don't think they're gonna let me do the cooking um which is probably a wise decision but i think i will be i'll be there talking and um annoying whoever is cooking at the time so uh yeah tune into that that should be fun and um i suppose i better get things fed on house we ain't gonna have no british beef week next week because um we need to keep these cows fed Yes, yeah, so we've got feeding going on. No one's going to back that in. So we've got a mix done. I think Ben's got to shoot off in a minute. He's opening the gates for me. So now we've got the ducks feasting on the maize. It's nice to see them all paired up. Spring's here. We've just got to do a mix now for the new cattle. So we've got that running. Now we'll put that in with the nine meter i'll just put in the maze with this and then we need a bit of uh, molasses look at that my dad's back the 210 and plow him so hopefully by this weekend what my dad's got plowed we can uh, get drilled drill will come into action you can 
can see some places have been a bit wet today. I think he's been digging a trench with the back furrow to let some water out where it gets really, really wet. Right, we've got this filled up with pre-mix. Let me get it round there, tip it out for these new cattle. No, we're just gonna get the machines in the shed and that's us done. So I've just fed that out to these guys with a mixer. So that's the only <laughs> pen really that we use the mixer for. I do have to take my hat off to Jamie at Triolet. Not, this is a silo king mixer, not Triolet. But he saw we had a sort of little problem where we can't feed into this trough here. And uh, he emailed me and said, look, our mixer, there's a solution. You can get a um, elevator that goes into these troughs. So um, yeah, I thought, well done to them for letting me know about it. And uh, yeah, they're trying to get me to spend my money, don't get me wrong, but um, it's nice to um, know that they were thinking of us and they were thinking what solutions they can give to us. So well done to Triolet for that, for, uh, for being on the ball and watching the videos. Not gonna lie, I did mention that that could be replaced, you know, by Triolet and they'd be in mixed mentions every day. It'd be like a little bit of things for charity for, from them to, to, to me, I suppose, by sorting me out a mixer. Um, but I don't think he was buying any of it at all. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe 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 if more people subscribe, we can get a, a mixer from Trailer. Um Anyway, our little bit that we try and do for charity, joking aside, is raise some money for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. We've raised £8,453 just from people getting shout outs in the video. And today that shout out is Alan McCann, who is 45. Uh, for, I bet you wish you were 45, Alan. You're 65, sorry. 65 uh, today. So does that mean you get your bus pass and bits and bobs like that? I don't know. Maybe. Cheap train travel. Um, anybody else wants to get their name in the video, then there's a link in the description below. It just. Um, takes you to a just giving link and then the money goes straight to the charity so I don't get my hands on it even though I'd like my hands on a, a new mixer but it's not gonna happen um anyway that is pretty much it from me today so if you've liked the video as always please press the like button subscribe if you're not already check out the merchandise there's, there's below the video you can click on the links to the merchandise below this video it's so easy now or you can just head over to joeseals.com and find it all on there Right, that's it. Um, who knows? Maybe tomorrow we get drilling. Might be a bit early, but you never know. Check it out. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.